Hello, massage nurse. Today I'd like to show you three techniques to really help with, uh, with the suboccipitals and the cervicals, you know, some decompression and all of us walk around with our neck down, which is the bilateral movement of the sternocleidomastoid. And then the opposite of that would be the splenius capitis on the posterior part. So I'm going to show you a couple of techniques to kind of relax that a little bit and also the suboccipital hold, which is important too because sometimes people get headache right at the occiput. So let me show you. Um, this, the first one is the occipital hold and you want to make sure that the client's far back down on the table that you're not holding the occiput right here where the wrists are bent. You don't want to do that. Remember the head can weigh up to 15 pounds. So you don't want to have that pressure on your wrist. So you, so you put your hands where at least part of your forearm is on the table. And then you go to the occipital ridge right at the end of more or less where the hairline is. And you lift the head and let them drop. You move out about an inch or half an inch from the midline and just kind of feel for C2, the transverse processes of C2, and let that, you know, their head fall right, right and onto your fingertips. You can hold this and I like to do some movement, you know, where I just kind of press up and this really starts releasing and it also lets me feel how tight it is there between C1 and C2. And if you can see her chin is moving up and down slightly, which is good, you want that movement. And you can do this, you know, five to 10 times, and you can also hold the head there, you know, right at the suboccipital ridge, just hold the head there. You, you can hold it there for up to about a minute, depending on the client. So that's the first one, okay? That really helps with, uh, with the suboccipitals and releasing some of that tension from there. The next one is some traction. You know, it's, I feel sometimes like our neck, like the turtles do, <laughs> like your neck is inside. So you wanna do some traction. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cup my hand again at the neck and uh, brace it against the occipital ridge. And with the left hand, you're gonna go to the chin. Now what you're gonna ask is your client to take a deep breath, and on the exhale, you're gonna do some traction. And another thing is you've gotta ask them, especially if they've been talking, you gotta ask them to close their mouths lightly so they don't accidentally bite their tongue. So if you could please, Andy, close your mouth lightly. I'm gonna pull right at the chin. I'm gonna lift her head where it sits right at you know, on the base of my hand. So with the left hand, I'm gonna put my hand right underneath her chin, not 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 all, not down here where the thyroid is, but right at the mandible. Okay, you can see this finger's loose. I'm only doing it with you know with the middle finger and the and the ring finger. So take a deep breath, and on the exhale, you pull gently. It's like I'm doing traction this way. I'm pulling gently. So let's do it again. Another deep breath and traction. Close your mouth lightly. And I'm pulling this way with both my right hand and my left hand. So I usually do this one three times. So one more time again, inhale and pull. And people can really feel like, oh, like their neck really releases and uh, you know, it's not down like this anymore. Another one, this is one of my favorites. So, on this, is you're gonna put your your arm almost all the way up to your elbow, you know, in a supine position. And then once you have your arm there, so it's on supine, you're gonna pronate. So you're going this way. And if you want to, you can also hold, put your hand on their forehead, the, at the uh, front of them. So you're supinating, and then you're gonna pronate. So you're supinated, pronation. Supination, pronation. And make sure your, your arm is almost all the way up to your, you know, their head almost all the way up to your elbow, so you can get a better grip and have a little bit more of an effect. So from supination, to pronation and this really moves 
you know, the head, like, since it's always flexed, you want to move it the opposite direction. And this is a really good stretch too, and a good technique. All three of them for the suboccipitals, the neck, the cervicals. So until the next time.